Hi y'all, it's me. I'm here with um, some news and some projects that I created, gosh, about three weeks ago or so. I've been so busy. I have been wanting to share projects and um, a lot of What Did Gina Get Now videos. I just have not had time. I have been so busy. Sometimes life just whams you, boy. But anyhow, um, so I want to start off with my news because it's my most exciting news. Um, and some of you already know because I did post this on Instagram, but I got engaged. Yay! <laughs> it's so beautiful. Um, I got engaged and uh, whew, it's so weird. Um, so my fiance and I have a really long story and gosh, it sounds strange to say fiance again in my lifetime. <laughs> it's never too late, y'all. <laughs> anyway, um, we have quite the story of our relationship and I posted it on Instagram. It's in four parts. If you care to go over and read about it, I'm not going to repeat it here. You can just read it there. But, um, anyhow, it's a very beautiful story. And so this is just, yeah, it's special, special. We don't have a wedding date set yet because we don't know. We're just getting used to the engagement part of it. <laughs> Maybe next year. Um, anyhow, when he proposed, I got this. Um, and I found out that my mom, prior to her passing away, had uh, purchased this and gave it to him and told him when he proposed to have it for me. And he did. And it was extremely special. The fact that I got engaged and then having mama there with me, it just was very, very special. So anyhow, let me go on to the projects um, that I created that I want to share with you. Now, y'all know I'm not a big fan of Doodlebug. I do like their petite prints and some of the embellishments, the little paper clips and things like that, but not the so much the cutesy design stuff. However, I have been begging Doodlebug to please make one of their designs into a die cut or a die and well, of course, they're not going to listen to me. Who am I <laughs> anyway? But they didn't. So one day I was on AliExpress and I came across the die I've been asking them for. Someone else created it. It's a shop called Navigator Coolie. And I will try to link their shop down below. But I want to talk to you a little bit about their shop before um, as I'm going through this. But let me show you what the die was that I was wanting so badly from Doodlebug. It was this telephone and I have, I love this telephone. I have one in my room that looks like this. Christian named one of her phones that she created after me because of my love for the phone. And I have that here in my room as well. So when I saw this, I kind of looked at the measurement. I did, you know, check it out. Um, I looked at the pieces and I thought, hmm, let me go ahead and order this. So I did. And look at how cute it is. I am so loving this. Isn't that a cute telephone? Um, so basically, the only problem I had with this die, now that's what I want to talk to you about because the dies have issues. I don't know how they create these. I'm not sure if they take a picture of the item and then they kind of dissect it to make the parts, but not all the parts are accurate. For example, on this one, it shows this dial with the finger thing where you dial. But on the actual die itself, it doesn't do that. It shows it. Here, let me see if I can pull it out right there. It shows that it will have holes, but when it cuts, it doesn't have holes. So I had to put little dots on there to represent those finger holes. That was my issue with this one. Other than that, it's fine. It's cute. I love it. Um... I used some doodlebug paper. It's a simple card. I didn't do anything inside. Let's chat soon. I embossed on there. And I thought that was super cute. And I am so happy to have this die because I just love that phone. They also had a couple of other dies um, that I purchased. Um, just to see, since I was ordering from them, I figured, you know, I may as well. And what actually started my hunt for these was I was looking for a, an umbrella die. I wanted to have something that went with Maggie Holmes' parasol. So I ordered this one, which is an umbrella, as you can see in the background picture there. Problem is, this doesn't cut properly at all. Even though you've got all these pieces, um, it cuts out the... Let me show you here. It cuts out this background piece 
And then on this one, even though it has this stitch line around it, it doesn't cut any of that. It only cuts the three sections. So you don't get any definition of those three sections, if that makes sense. So this was kind of a flop. I guess you're going to just have to take your chances and hope that what you get works. Because <laughs> I've explained to them what the issues are, but... I don't guess they don't really care. <laughs> I bought this one too since I was ordering. It's an easel board with little flowers. I have not cut this out. I don't know if it works or not, but I'm going to get around to that one. I purchased this one as well, and this looked really simple. I said they can't really mess this one up. Um, it's a like a drink, and I didn't put this on anything, but I did make it, and it's adorable. Um, if you like the doodle bug, it's got a cute, that cute face. You can do it without the face, which is what I intend to do future, but I wanted to show it to you um, here made. And it's a pretty decent size, and I think it's super cute. I, um, I just added the acetate to make a shaker out of it, which I loved. And then this is the one that was the the most complicated. <laughs> Look at all the guys in this one. I'm going to show you what it is. And it's appropriate I have to show it to you today because it's Halloween. Um, it's this house right here. And again, the only reason I ordered all the extras is just I figured since I was ordering my telephone and the umbrella, I may as well just get a few more and save on the shipping. So this house, it's fooling you a lot, the dye. Again, I think they take pictures and just kind of mimic what they can. And I'm going to show you what this dye, I want to show you a couple of the problems. This is the chimney section right here. And it doesn't cut the brick at all. Not at all. It just cuts the outline. So don't be misled by that. And then the other thing it has in here is this one. And this should be the roof right there, but it doesn't cut all of those either. It just cuts the outline. Um, I think that was the only discrepancy in here other than, let me tell you, there's a lot of parts to making this and I did make it. So <laughs> I'm going to share it with you because it was a lot of work. <laughs> um, but here is the finished house. Now it is super cute. Don't get me wrong. It's just a lot of work. I had to, so to correct the problem with this, I think they gave me a die in here if I recall. Yeah, there's some dies in here. They're like these right here. And I cut those out and mimicked brick. I just kind of scattered them around to make it look like brick. And then this particular part to get the roof like that, I used a edge punch that I have in my stash to make this roof look more the way that it looked in the picture. Everything else I think came out pretty cute. Um, the pieces are tiny. It's a lot of piecing work. So if you're not into that, I would stay away. But it is really cute when it's done. Um, I added that little saying on there and used some doodle bug paper in the background. But it's super cute. So anyhow, that is what I wanted to share with you today. I'm so excited to tell you about my engagement. Um, I'll let you know any further plans that I have for that when the time comes. But in the meantime, I wanted to share these with you. So thank you so much for watching. And until next time, do what makes you happy. Bye for now.